Hi all, uh, this video is on uh, NAXT. At the end of this session, you will be able to understand what is NAXT, a next generation modern web development tool. Also, you will be able to understand how to do the installation and basic setup for NAXT framework. And eventually, you will be able to build your own website using the NAXT framework. So uh, before uh, going into details, uh, let me tell you the latest scenarios in web technologies it has been changed drastically over the years especially experimented on javascript and its various framework tremendously as a result of that we are blessed to receive angular react vue.js in modern web development assets they are all javascript based framework used to develop front-end web applications all of them are very close to each other in the perspective of performance implementation and utilities all of them are having some asynchronous utilities which means a parallel programming in which a list of tasks executes separately from the main application thread and notifies the calling thread of its completion failure or progress this is nothing basically a non-blocking aspects of programming eventually what happens is that it optimizes your turnaround time for the end users unlike old times users who used to face severe issues for example system not responding due to heavy traffic and so on so this basically we faced while submitting online form online ticket booking booking and then attending online assessments exams etc so now uh, it's showing a lot of uh, lights uh, when we had a lot of javascript based framework and based on that uh, we can create so a lot of uh, asynchronous uh, functionality so let me define what is naxt in this aspect it is basically a fabulous strong javascript based framework built uh, using vue.js it makes it uh, easy to build single app as well as universal apps now let me tell you some benefits of using uh, this naxt framework using this uh, you can build universal web app as i have mentioned and um, here it is a little important to tell you what is a universal web app which basically describes the js code that can execute uh, both ends uh, such as server end and the client end so using other uh, javascript framework which you have seen in recent times using react and others it is little difficult to implement this certain functionality but here it is uh, it can build very easily now if we if i give you more benefits of of this uh, particular framework uh, you can access to an asynchronous data method against various components to fetch data and uh, render it on the server side programming the other benefits are using uh, it basically generates uh, your uh, static html uh, which can run in a serverless environment for example, um, if you keep your Nox project in GitHub, where it executes, gives you the environment uh, like um, Node.js. And uh, if you have a custom domain, you can still point back your custom domain in a GitHub and can execute your server, uh, your website or web asset. Okay, because uh, in a particular uh, this Nox framework, it generates your static HTML okay and uh, because of this it also um, avoids or remediate the SEO issues uh, which basically uh, an issue uh, by the different uh, javascript based framework uh, where um, the different search engines faces a lot of issues to crawl the urls or um, they cannot crawl the html properly but um, using the naxt it has a lot of benefits uh, which remediates especially the seo issues now in order to install nox you need to have a node.js into your uh, server let me show you that so if i go to the browser and if i search with the node.js.org you can download the various uh, packages exe file um, um, which is uh, basically related to your uh, uh, operating system if you have a windows operating system you need to download this one and make sure that you are uh, selecting the right uh, bits so if you are having 32 bit computer system then you need to download this one so i have a mac so i have downloaded the mac uh, installer package and uh, it is uh, quite straightforward and is super easy to install uh, the node.js you just need to install with few clicks next to next 
and once that is installed you need to verify if that is installed let me go to my terminal on command line so in mac uh, it is a unix based operating system so it provides you the terminal where you can execute the various commands now let me check uh, if my node.js is installed or not so you can check that by using node dash version so you can see the version then very next thing which you need to check is npm um, <clears throat> so in npm is basically a package manager uh, which will help you to download various components and modules related to javascript libraries now let me check that if it is installed or not it's the same way you can give it npm dash v it will give you the version 6.14.6 so it is very important thing uh, and this is uh, actually installed along with your node.js okay so it helps to run scripts as i said and, and a server end to render contents before it is delivered to a web browser and, um, and this is very important which i must say now uh, if you want to install your nux you need to execute this npm then i for install then nux but since i have installed this before i am not executing this i will show you creating one package here so for that i need to create one directory let me create a fresh directory called uh, fresh okay let me go inside this directory fresh let me execute list i can see right now it is uh, blank because i haven't created any project here so let me create my first project so npx uh, basically is a, an extension which is available after certain versions in node.js so you can use also npx in the place of npm now next uh, command is next create your next app and then name any name you can give so it will take some time to install uh, your uh, first app now it will uh, install using this npm package manager to download all nox related uh, libraries into your local system so meanwhile it is downloading and setting up your local setup for nox let me tell you some common features uh, and the modules uh, for uh, Nuxt. Nuxt has various uh, uh, components, layouts, pages and store. Directories will be created as soon as uh, this uh, command is executed. So in this particular tutorial, I will not go into details uh, about the various uh, sections uh, inside the Nuxt folder. Uh, but let me tell you some uh, definitions of it. Uh, the what is components. It is a folder which can organize your Vue.js components individually. The next is uh, layouts. Uh, it's a folder which can contain your main web application layouts. The next is uh, pages. Uh, this is uh, mostly important uh, where you need to pay attention. Uh, it is a folder which can contain your web applications routes. Uh, Next reads all the view files inside this directory and builds uh, the web applications router. So for example, uh, your website might have a lot of uh, other pages, right? For example, contact us, privacy policy, legal notice or registration pages. So here under the pages folder, you need to create uh, the folder name called contact uh, dot view. If you're creating the index page, it will look like index dot view. And then if you're creating any privacy pages, then it will uh, name like that privacy dot view and uh, what uh, this uh, this compiler will do it will go through all the directories under this pages folder and it will actually treat it as a router or the urls for your uh, applications so it will consider it as a separate url and navigate to that particular folder and pull the contents and display into the uh, browser end so i'll show you uh, the basic uh, um, lookout of the pages once this installation is being done so inside the pages uh, you will be able to see certain uh, syntax called template and then uh, inside the template there would be some uh, list of html files and just beneath that uh, there would be some uh, scripts uh, javascript which are actually the vue.js and uh, across uh, any uh, framework um, the purpose of uh, using javascript is that it will create certain functionality or logic and then it will assign to any function on variables and now these variables are being exported and 
can be rendered uh, into the templates so this is the main or uh, basic purpose of that so my installation is uh, and the process and you are you need to give give some name test name uh, it suppose javascript typescript both so i am choosing javascript for now i am selecting the package manager as npm the, it uh, supports also a lot, lot of ui framework let me select uh, bootstrap uh, so let me select testing environment none then uh, if you want to build a single page app then you can select this i am selecting universal one then i am selecting server node.js there is no github name for now so i am selecting the version call to system as uh, git now it is the installation will continue so uh, meanwhile the installation is uh, in progress uh, where it will actually download all the uh, related libraries uh, which are useful while building your uh, website so in a website you might have a lot of uh, functionality for example you need to create one light box or uh, you need to create certain animations so the methods and some functionalities are already available on those libraries and um, you need to just reuse those functions and uh, uh, variables so you do not need to create something from the scratch and that is the purpose of uh, downloading all this uh, packages using the package manager now uh, for a support kind of project where uh, your build will be there already with lot of files and folder ready now suppose you need to uh, update or edit some existing uh, asset what you need to do you need to just uh, copy that enter uh, source files in a particular folder and then you need to uh, execute uh, using the npm uh, install so in that way it will go through your package.json which is a basically a one instruction folder um, file and which will uh, contain the, all the dependencies on certain modules and uh, file systems so if you execute uh, your commands uh, installation then it will show you all those dependencies and it will install uh, along with those npm package manager commands and once that is done then you need to go into several sections you need to go into the pages sections first and where you will get a list of files uh, where you may need to make some changes uh, as per the nux framework if it is just a uh, content changes you can do that easily uh, inside the pages folder and now at last uh, the installation has done so let me check uh, the folders let me execute the list commands it will show you the directory which has been created by using the create nux tab okay so let me go inside that so if you list it down so you will see the list of folders which i was actually discussing about so let me check what is package.json So it will show you uh, basically the name uh, of this um, project version and some scripts uh, you can also update this uh, also if you have some dependencies with some other modules it will be written here now the compiler first actually go through uh, next config.js uh, if you want to override something you can do that as well from the nux.config.js so let me show you that uh, So this uh, how it looks like okay and uh, the next is uh, I'll go through the most important folder which I was talking about the pages so let me go inside that let me list it down so for right now you can see it is only index dot uh, view but if you have more pages uh, eventually you need to build it uh, inside this folder so let me go inside this and uh, modify something so here it is written test name so let me give it some name okay 
so and in below you can see some styles are also written here in order to uh, give uh, the styling for this template uh, you can see it is starts with template uh, syntax and it is also ending with a template uh, syntax okay and uh, just beneath that script tag is added now it is exporting some default uh, functions but it has nothing for now uh, but eventually when when you will write a lot of codes so you need to write uh, in the script section now i'm going out and saving this now let me start this okay and uh, for this you need to write the command npm run dev so your uh, development environment will be uh, running uh, ready and running So it will build some files using this command. Now you can see there is a listening port uh, which you can put it into browser to check uh, your uh, how it is, uh, how does it look like. Okay, so let us finish this uh, first. So this builder is initialized and server is running and ready to port to this IP address localhost colon 3000 so it's taking a little time here So compilation is done and it is linked to the this IP. So let me go back to the browser to check this. So it's loading. Now you can see uh, what I have written here my first project name and test. So it is being reflected in this particular template. So if you want to generate the static static HTML you can do that as well so let me open another tab for this now let me check where I am okay so let me go out of the pages and generate the static HTML okay so for that I need to run npx next generate Now finally uh, this uh, generates the static HTML uh, which is very useful as I discussed uh, in my initial discussion that uh, it can uh, run on any uh, serverless uh, instance. So this was very useful and after that you need to execute the build command and uh, also you can run that uh, into your local server using the uh, next run start uh, commands. So I hope uh, you like this video. You can use this video as your baseline to start the Next framework and uh, you can easily build any kind of websites uh, uh, which you need uh, very high performance in the perspective of, of load. So thanks for watching and if you like this video, please uh, subscribe and that's it and have a nice day.